I mean, that's huge. I mean, that's what we're trying to do every single week. You know, whether, you know, we win or we lose, we're trying to get better. And I think, you know, that's kind of probably the most thing I'm most proud of this week is, you know, if I didn't feel like there's any lack of intensity or any times where, you know, our mistakes really influence, you know, the pace of the game or our momentum. And for us to, like you said, put two halves together, um, we knew going into halftime, you know, that, you know, that was our opportunity that, you know, that this is our opportunity. I think it was Coach Lester that mentioned it. He's like, all right, you know, you know, we took care of the first half, but, you know, let's go out there and let's finally play a full game of football. And I think, you know, we were able to do that today. Mason said something in there about he, said, he thought the receivers actually had a really good week of practice. I mean, yeah. are you seeing, like, incremental, incremental progress, I guess, just with this whole offense each week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, I mean, kind of as I said, like, win or loss, I mean, you know, it, we're, showing, we're making progress. And I think, you know, as Mason mentioned, you know, the, actually the wide receivers had their best week in practice mm -hmm. this week. And, you know, I think – the play, the pace that they're playing with, um, you know, like today, like hit, when I'm able to hit Seth, and, and that was man coverage, you know, like, mm -hmm. and you know, for us to be able to make plays dynamically, and for us to convert on the third downs that we're doing, um, you know, it's huge for our offense, and we're just continuing trying to get better. Okay, two <laughs> touchdowns, no interceptions today. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, whenever I can, you know, add a couple tuds and no turnovers, that's you know, I'm just doing everything I can to help the team win. Kate, what I feel like on the um, touchdown pass to Dayton Howard, and what's really stood out to you about him kind of in this last year and a half or so? Yeah, I mean, it's really just been his progression, too. You know, I mean, last year he was a scout team guy, and then here he is now, and he's, you know, catching touchdowns and, you know, spiking balls in the end zone. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's gotten so much better, and he's gotten, he's gotten a lot more mature, you know, <coughs> this uh, since last year. And I think, you know, you know, it's, uh, I love it when, you know, the younger guys are able to see, you know, that level of success and when, you know, they can – notice that you know when I put in the work and when I'm humble and when I'm you know and then when I finally do it in practice and then now when it comes to game time and you actually execute and you see the you know really just the summary of what all that work equals to I mean um, I'm just couldn't be happier for the guy. Kid, I feel like we've all asked you about Caleb Johnson a lot this season but just like how much easier does it make does playing the game become with a running back like that that's able to produce like that? Yeah, I think really just the biggest impact that it has, like, you know, was that Dayton touchdown was when we're able to, you know, play action. I mean, in games in the past, it's been a lot of our movements, um, but kind of just based on their front, you know, we felt like we could, you know, uh, take advantage of them in different ways. But I think, you know, especially when we're able to, you know, establish a run, um, it really sets up the play pass nice. And I mean, that's basically what just happened on Dayton's that we were able to you know, suck all the linebackers in, and then I was able to, you know, find Dayton over the middle. And I mean, all you had to do is, you know, really catch it. And I just had to locate the ball, and there was no one else after that. The Seth Anderson caught your first pass as a Hawkeye last year for a touchdown, and then mm -hmm. this year he hasn't played until today. But he got in, got in a lot, had a catch. Um, kind of, what's his path or growth been since he was injured earlier in the year, and what what does he bring to your offense? Yeah, I mean, he's. I mean, Seth brings a lot of speed to our offense. I think, you know, he's very explosive with the ball in his hands. And, you know, it's just really unfortunate. You know, I, I know how he feels, you know, when you're being, you know, held back by injury. And, you know, that's not a good feeling. But, you know, shout out to him for persevering. And, um, you know, this has really been his first, like, really big game, like, since, you know, this season, really. And, you know, for him to go in there and make an impact like he did today, um, it's huge for us. Yeah, Defense yeah. caused a lot of uh, turnovers, blocked a field goal, and uh, you know got the Huskies off the field on fourth down on uh, three different drives. From your perspective as an offensive player, especially with how important complementary football is in this program, does it really give the offense a boost to be coming out on a short field or, or to see the ball sort of given back to you by the defense? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. I mean, really just for the amount of times that we had a short field today was huge. And I think, you know, that makes our job a lot easier um, when we don't have to travel 30 yards to just get into enemy territory. So for us to already start, you know, and I think it allows us to be a little bit more aggressive. And I think, you know, it really just that's the momentum and the pace that we're able to play with when, you know, we're able to, you know, use the momentum of the defense and then we're able to get off the ball like we do. and. Um, especially when a run game's working like that, I mean, it's pretty easy to get a team on their heels when we're, you know, playing like that and really playing good complimentary football.